The USTA announces its wild cards for the US Open. We've got all you need to know, and I've got my picks for the matches you don't want to miss tonight in Cincy. The break, it starts right now. What's up, guys? Aaron Coscarelli here. You are watching the break. Now, four former champions among the picks for the final major of the year, and let's get right into who will be walking out at Flushing Meadows. Dominic Team lifted the trophy on Ash back in 2020 when he fought back from two sets down to edge Alexander Zverev behind closed doors at the height of the pandemic. That victory snapped a three-match losing streak in major finals. 2024 will be the Austrian's farewell to the slams he is due to head into retirement after playing his home event in Vienna in October. Stan Rowinka picked up his third major trophy in the Big Apple eight years ago with a thrilling victory over Novak Djokovic. Stan the man may be 39, but he is proving that age is no barrier to success, and he still has one of the best one-handed backhands the sport has ever seen. Four years ago, Naomi Osaka powered past Victoria Azarenka to claim her second U.S. Open crown, and we've reported here the four-time major champion and new mom might not be quite at that kind of level, but she fully deserves her spot on the biggest stage in tennis. Bianca Andrescu rounds out the former champs who will be in New York. She enjoyed a magical run in 2019, beating none other than Serena Williams in the championship match to become Canada's first ever Grand Slam champion. And if those superstars weren't enough to whet your appetite, how about two young American stars who will also be in the main draw? Amanda Anisimova clinched the U.S. Open wildcard challenge last week after making her first WTA 1000 final in Toronto. And our friend Chris Eubanks will head into his home slam fresh off of representing the U.S. at the Olympics. All right, with all of that just a couple of weeks away, let's look at what's happening tonight at the Cincinnati Open. Wimbledon champion Carlos Alcaraz opens up his campaign under the lights when he faces the ever popular Gaia Monfils on center court. Carlito has won both their previous two meetings heading into this one, but we all know, of course, Gaia is always one of the most entertaining players on tour. He is a must see. Uh, later, Jessica Pegula closes things out. The American successfully defended her National Bank Open crown last week and is the informed player on the WTA. She faces the very talented Karolina Muchkova. That'll be their first meeting on tour, and I think, personally, it'll be a good one. Oh, and just one more thing before I leave you. We all know Sir Andy Murray, he hung up his racket after the Paris game, but just how do major champs fill their days without the endless training and travel while on tour? Well, now you know. <laughs> this post on Insta certainly made us LOL in the office. Let's hope retirement doesn't hit the legendary Scott too hard for too much longer. All right, that'll do it for us here today. Don't forget, Tennis Channel's daily live coverage from Cincy starts 11 a.m. Eastern, and I will see you for sure tomorrow.